Hey there, Tina. Hey, Gia. How are you? I'm hanging in there. It's a year, but uh, glad to yes. be able to call you up with a question for Bridge. Maybe take uh, take my mind off everything that's happening in the news. Um, right. Real quick, I'm on thank holiday, you. So I haven't been thinking oh. about Bridge, but here I am. Oh. Okay, well, thank you for taking some time on your holiday. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, I recently played this hand and um, had a question about the auction. So I thought to ring up Tina. Uh, Tina, can I load it up? Go for it. So here we are. Uh, East opens the bidding on Spade. And uh, with our hand, uh, I think we have some options, but I wasn't sure how to bid this hand, how to uh, help us through this auction. Okay. Well, it's a nice head. If we were opening the bidding, we wouldn't have a problem. We'd simply just open one heart because it's our longest suit. But mm. overcalling is a different matter. So if you've got, if um, what are my choices here? My choices are I can pass, which I don't want to do. And I could bid two hearts or I can bid two diamonds. Why would I do that? But I could. Or I could double. Now, one of the good things about this hand is that I've got a singleton in their suit. I don't really want to bid two hearts. And the reason I don't want to bid two hearts is because it does signal a really good suit. And my suit, I would rather have King Queen or at least Queen Jack 10. So I don't want to bid two hearts. I think I've got the perfect double. If you remember, the um, criteria for a takeout double is that you should have an opening hand, tick, at least three cards in all the unbid suits, tick, tick, tick. It's perfect. I think it's perfect for a takeout double. Sure, I've got a five card heart suit, which my partner won't know, but partner will support me with four, maybe bid no trumps, maybe do something and I might be able to show my hearts later, although I'm likely. But I still bringing, um, the, the basically I would double. I think it's the best option. So let's see what partner does. There so you go. partner responds. And so first, how wonderful, we have a heart pit. Yep. Talk to us about what does a three heart response mean compared to a two heart response? Okay, so firstly, let's just register that partner has passed. So partner hasn't got an opening hand. So partner's maximum will tend to be about 11 points. Secondly, um, I made partner bid. I forced partner to bid. A double right. is takeout double is forcing. And Partner, if partner had bid two hearts, partner could have had as little as no points at all because he's right. compelled to bid. Mm. So three hearts would say, look, I'm pretty close to an opening hand. Eight, nine, ten, even a bad eleven. Mm. Certainly around about eight to ten. And usually a five card suit. Mm. That would be my guess. And, and I, I guess partner partner knows our strength from our double. So does partner know collectively where we must be? Well, partner can only guess. Partner will be taking out insurance in case I'm very minimal for my double. Partner, if partner had been really good, they he could have been four hearts. Mm. But I think he's been three hearts because he wants to encourage me. Now, the que next question is, am I minimum for my double? Mm. I've got 13 points. But it's a lot better than 13 points, largely because of two things. One, I've got five hearts. Two, I've got a singleton spade. Mm. And three, my outside points are in aces and kings, which is always good for your side suits. Mm. So I would have zero difficulty in bidding four hearts. Mm. That's great. And just to be clear, that three heart bid, is it invitational? Is it forcing? Um, well, it's a past hand, Bajir. So I don't think that partner can force. I mean, if, like I said, if partner wanted to bid game, partner could have bid game, but he only bid uh -huh. three. So I think it's invitational. Yeah. He's showing he's got a reasonable hand. As mm. I said, eight to ten would be my guess. And then Possibly for us, it's thinking, do we have enough? Do we have a little extra, in this case, that singleton spade, as well as the aces in the outside suits? 
and the five card heart suit. I'm hoping for a 10 card heart fit. And you got it. And I got it. That's great. So it's a good game. You know, we've got no heart losers. We've only got one spade loser. We've got no club losers. And we have got only one definite di diamond loser. Now, why is that? Why, why am I not possibly going to lose two diamonds? Can you toss a diamond on anything? Ah, yes, with the clubs. Good. Good, yeah. I'm so, learning from you, Tina. I don't think I could have answered that a couple years ago. Good, 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 good. So, looks to me like I'm going to make 11 tricks. I'm only going to lose a spade and a diamond mm. because everything else is great. So, good game, really good bit of partner. Partner's got 10 points, as I said. Um, and so it was good that partner bid three hearts. To be honest, I'd have been a bit tempted to bid four with partner's hand. But you we would have gone straight there. Mm. Mm. Oh, well, thank you, Tina. And uh, for everyone for everyone joining us, I'll, uh, this hand was played over at Skybridge Club, so I'll include a link there. And um, as always, uh, Tina, uh, I everyone would be welcome. Tina has some fantastic lessons here at LearnBridge Online, and the link is below. We would love to welcome you to any of her classes. Thanks okay, so much, Tina. Thank you. Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks, Brigitte. Bye, everyone. Bye.